Hello guys, this is the survey of Kenya. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to compute distance and bearing from coordinates using two calculators, FX82ES plus and FX82MS. I have coordinates of two points from 69N to 70N. So the first thing you do is to compute the change in northings and change in eastings. My change in northings is 59 point, negative 59.65 and my change in eastings is 113.26. So I'll take my FX82ES plus, we're going to start with that. And for you to compute, you will have to pull negative 59.65 comma 113.26 equal. You will get an R, R is equals to 1. 28.0076 the r is the distance so we have a 1.128.0076 meters and when you scroll to the right you will get an angle of 117.774 now this is our bearing but for us to know the minutes and the seconds we need to isolate the bearing itself so that we can have the so that we can get the minutes and the seconds so i'll click recall y and i'll get this is my ch my bearing. Now, to get my minutes and seconds, I'll just press the bearing button. And my bearing is 117.46.27.03. That is for the calculator FX82ES+. plus. Now, I have a, an FX82MS. The process is the same. It's only that the buttons are in different places. I'll just click Paul. Negative 59.65. One thirteen point two six. This one gives you the distance directly, and you have a distance of one twenty eight point zero zero seven six, the same as the other one. Now, to get the bearing, I'll recall F or recall tan. That's where you get your bearing, and this bearing is also in decimal form. So, I'll click the bearing button and I'll get one seventeen forty six twenty seven. The FX82ES plus is better because it gives me the higher precision. This one does not give me the decimals in the second part. Now, a different case scenario where the bearing is negative and we want to find the actual bearing because a bearing cannot be negative. So if we were to move from 70N to 69N, we would have our bearing being negative. In this case, we'll have a pole 59.65 comma negative 113.26 equal now that the distance will be the same but the bearing is now negative 62.22582441 now we'll isolate the bearing yet again recall y and now it is negative 62.225 i'll add 360 to it and my bearing is 297.7741756 297.7741756 that is my bearing from 70N to 69N. In this calculator, it's a bit different. If you pull the same thing, now from 70N to 69N, you get pull 59.65 shift comma negative 113.26 equal. Now, when you rec turn, you get negative 62. If you add 360 to this, it will give you 488 but for you to get the correct bearing you'll have to bracket shift bracket you'll have to brackets so brackets rec turn plus 360 equal you'll get 297 46 27 that is how you do a datum join in the calculator fx82 es plus and fx thank you for watching MS. this tutorial and see you in the next one